Hey guys, it's Rodway here, and today we are looking at portfolio building. And this is a little bit different than uh, the other tutorials in that we don't have to follow any sort of steps uh, per se. You're going to decide what you think looks good and uh, take it from there. But I will describe and explain uh, the site that we're going to use. And just one really important thing to mention is that you don't have to be a web designer to do this. Uh, it's just a great way to show your work online and to share it with the rest of the world. Very quick, very easy, good for any professional photographer out there. All right, so we're going to start by uh, launching our web browser. I'm going to use Chrome. It might screw up on me. I might have to switch to Safari, but we'll see how it goes. And we're going to go to a site called www. Whoops, come on. dot wix wix dot com now wix has been around for well i've been using it for probably about four or five years and it's fantastic and i'm going to explain why when you come to wix's site you're going to say start now and you're going to create a new user account so i'm going to make an account for myself even though i have one here we're going to call it J Rogaway. doesn't matter. Of course, you're going to use your own email address. And this one I'm just making just because, just for, uh, I'm not going to actually use this, but I'm going to make a password. The nice thing about this site is that it doesn't get you to confirm your email or anything. You can just start using it right away. You also have the option to sign in with Facebook or Google, depending on how you do it. You can see that I should have probably used that, but we'll see if it warns me. We're going to hit go. And it says, oh, confirm my email address again, just to make sure it's correct. And we're going to hit sign up. Okay. Oh, it says I already exist. So let me just sign in with Google. And oh, it looks like I got a few going there. I'm going to make a new one. Um, I'm going to say I'm a new user again. I got a, I got lots of email addresses. So let's make another one here. Who knows? Maybe someday I'll actually use this for my own, my own personal use. Okay, and I'm going to hit go. And it says it doesn't match. No problem. Put it in again. Okay, and I'm gonna sign up. All right. And hit go. And there we go. So it's going to take me into the site and I'm going to, sometimes you'll get a window that pops up and it shows you, um, it asks you what type of a site do you want to build. It's worth mentioning that you should pick um, photography and choose the different types of photography that there is. But if you're already at this one, I'm going to go start creating now. And so this is kind of like what the window is going to look like. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose photography on the side here. And I'm going to make sure that I have all the different types of photography chosen here. Like I said, there might be a window that pops up and uh, gives you that same information. This is how the site works. You're going to look through templates that are already built. And you'll notice that Wix is very... Um, um, it's excellent because everything's free. So we're going to go through this and we're going to look for one that kind of appeals to us. So I'm just scrolling through and you can see I got lots of pages of templates to go through. I'm just going to pick one. Let's say, um, <laughs> let's say I like this one. So I'm going to click view and what it's going to do is it's going to let me kind of take the site for a test spin. I'm going to get to see how it works. So you can see on the main page here, I can flip through photos. Cool. 
I can go to an about page. All right, that's kind of neat. Portraits and fashion and landscape. When I'm looking at these sites, and it's even got a video section, which is cool. When I'm looking at these sites, I'm not looking at the content that's on here. Everything that I see can be customized and changed so that the site becomes my own. In the top left corner here, you'll see that we can view for the computer or we can view it for a mobile. And I like that feature too, because then I can see how it's going to look on my phone. Since, uh, you know, nowadays, so many people view uh, websites on their uh, smartphones and on their devices. So that's another really nice feature is that all these templates are customized for mobile as well. Okay, so let's say I really like this uh, template. I'm going to click edit this site. And what that's going to do is it's going to launch the editor. Now the editor is where I can actually make changes to the site and start to customize it and make it my own. All right, it's going to give you a little training video. You know what, I'm just going to skip that. I'm going to close it because I'd rather explain it to you guys instead. So what you can do from this window is this is basically your building window. This is where you can go and change everything that you see. So I'm going to first of all maybe change the name. Um, I would probably want to put my name instead up there. All right, and you can go and tweak the size. All right, or maybe I want to call it photography. All right, I could change the font type right here. I could change the font size, whether it's bold or basically all your options that you're used to seeing in things like Word and, and other programs. Now, let's say I want to go and start changing my photos. I can click the slideshow here and I can go organize images. And it says, hi, start by adding your own images. So we can go add images. And I can really quickly upload images up in the top right here. I'm going to click upload and I'm just going to pick a picture from my computer. It really doesn't matter. Do, 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 do. Let's see what I've got here. Um, it really doesn't matter, but I don't want it to be, uh, I don't want it to be strange. Okay, here's some Northern Light. This is a Northern Lights photo I took, uh, I don't know, about a week or so ago. So it's going to upload. It's got to be in either JPEG, PNG, or GIF format, and it's got to be smaller than 15 megs. And once you've uploaded, it's going to become part of your library of images that you can choose from. I'm on a slow uh, connection here. But uh, it's going to upload, and it's going to become part of your library. Once that loads, uh, almost there, <laughs> it should become added. There it is. Now it's there. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that. I'm going to say add images and now it becomes part of that home page. And I can add a description, I can add a link, I can do all sorts of stuff to it. I can change the way it crops and all the rest of it. So now you can see that that becomes my first picture of my page, which is kind of cool. So that's how you edit things, all right, by clicking and changing. Now there's a way more to this. Um, as you're going to see in a second here. So along the side here, we've got these five buttons. And I'm going to just explain what each one does here. So first of all is your Pages button. Now the Pages button allows you to change between the different pages within the site. And this is really excellent because let's say I'm working on the home page, I really like the way it looks, but now I want to go edit my About page. I can click it and it's going to switch to that and then now I can go and edit the information on that page. All right, I can edit the text, I can, you can see you can add animations to it, you can make it fade in, you can do whatever you want. Um, so that's really excellent. Now the, another, another really nice feature is, let's say you don't want it called About. Maybe I want it called Info instead, I don't know. I can go in here, I can easily change that and say Done. And now my button on all the pages now becomes info. And so you can change what the name of the page is as well. You can also go in here and delete the page if you didn't want that section. So let's say I don't really have any videos. I can go into video and I can hit delete. 
It says, do you want to delete it? Let's delete it. And you'll notice now up at the top that the buttons have updated. Video is no longer there and I'm left with only five buttons. I can also add more if I want as well. So let's say I want to add more to this. Maybe I want to add macros and I want to add maybe a vacation that I went on or you know whatever I want to add. I can add more to this as well. So there's a lot of things you can do with this pages uh, menu. It's basically your way of navigating through the site. The next one down is called design. And design allows you to change the overall look of the site. And so you can customize. So if I want to go to, let's say I don't like the white background, so I'm going to click background. Well, I can change it to black or I can change it to whatever color I want. And it's going to allow me to customize. You can even do patterns or splatters or whatever you want to completely customize the look of your site. Now, obviously, it's not necessary it's not always going to work with what you have like in this case I got black text but maybe I want a black background so I would have to go and change you know the color of that to white so it stands out or some color that's going to stand out on that all right you can also upload and change your backgrounds to whatever you want it could be a photo that you have taken and uh, obviously that's going to make it more customized to you all right so let's just go to black it doesn't really matter Let's go back to design. You can also change the colors. So here, for example, I can set a uh, color scheme. And now it's you can see that it's changing all the colors of the buttons and of the text and all the rest of it. We can add our own palettes. And this is what I was trying to say earlier is that, you know, you want to find a color scheme that's going to work out really well, uh, you know, with the rest of the colors. So. If you have a dark background, obviously you're going to want colors that are going to stand out on that dark background. All right, back to design again. Fonts. Here's another nice little feature is that rather than going and changing each font, I can pick, um, you know, different font, um, I guess font templates basically is what they are. And you get all sorts of different looks very quickly until you find a font that matches, you know, your style. All right, very quick, very easy. And that's the whole point of this site is that they try to make it as easy as possible for you. Let's close that. Now the add button is nice because uh, obviously, let's say I wanted to add some text to this to say like, you know, Aurora Borealis on such and such a date. Well, I can click and add the text it could be a title or it could be a paragraph. So in this case, it might be a paragraph. And what that'll do is it's going to add a little text box because that's what we wanted it to do. All right, now the nice thing, I'm just gonna delete that. The nice thing about this is you can add all sorts of things. You can add text, you can add images, you can add galleries, video and media, shapes, buttons, blogs, online stores if you wanna sell stuff, social links, apps, list builders. There's tons of things you can add. So, you know, when you start with that initial template, you're going to be able to change it to whatever you want. All right, the app market. Now, obviously, this site needs to make money somehow, and that's where this app market comes in. Now, they have all sorts of really neat features you can add to your site for an additional cost. So you might want to check that out and see what they've got in there as well. And again, uh, you know, they got everything there. Settings itself, now in the settings, it gives you your site address, it tells you where people can find it, it gives you the URL, it gives you Google statistics, it gives you social you know, settings so you can hook up your social uh, websites with it. it, shows you statistics of how many people have checked you out. Uh, it's just got you know, a lot of background information that's really useful. Now here's probably the most important thing about building your site through this, through this website is up at the top right, you've got these buttons here. You do have undos and uh, redos, you know, copy and paste, that's all useful. But what's really useful is these buttons here. First of all, you probably wanna save your work as you're working on it, because you don't wanna lose what you've done. The nice thing about Wix is you can log into any computer with your username and password, and you can go and edit your site at any time. However, if you don't save, you're going to lose all the changes you've made. 
You can also hit preview so you can see what your site's gonna look like up to this point. So I'll just show you how that looks. First, I'm gonna save. And when you save, it's gonna ask you, what do you wanna call your site? So I'm gonna call it James Rogaway Photography. Well, the nice thing about this, oh. Uh, I'll just call it Rogaway Photography. It doesn't really matter. This is how your site's going to look. So we're going to just save it. And it says, congratulations, but your site's not live yet. And I'm going to talk about that in a second too. We're going to hit OK. And now we can hit preview. And so now we can see what it looks like in a browser window. All right, we only got one image there. We haven't edited anything else here yet, but you know, that's obviously part of working on this, right? You want to, do it a little bit at a time. We're gonna go back to the editor up at the corner here. We're gonna go back and keep working on it. When we're ready to uh, publish this and to share it with the world, we would click publish. All right, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go publish online. And it's going to say, do you want search engines to find you? Do you wanna enable a, a mobile version of it? You know, um, and then it also gives you the site address here so that when you, people want to find you or when you want to post that or put it on business cards or whatever, that's the link where they'll be able to get to your portfolio, to get to your site. Anyways, I hope this was useful or helpful for you. That's pretty much all the main features of Wix itself. Um, if you want to check out my site, I'm going to just put it in www.cshcphotography.com. Uh, in this site, I've got a link to portfolios and you can check out some of the work done by students at uh, our school here uh, from other grades and see what they've done. Um, each of these students built a Wix site and uh, posted their work. Uh, so you can see how excellent and how flexible it is for a variety of both students or professionals alike. Anyways, hope this helps. Make sure you make a site that uh, you can share with me. Um, talk to you later.